welcome to Fairham College News, live from Solent University, with your hosts, Amy Armstrong and Courtney Fairbairn. The headlines, widow from Canada has had her late husband skinned so she can hang his tattoos on a wall. Dad slams shop for ruining his birthday cake with disgraceful decorations. And a BBC sign language expert, facial expressions basically sum up Brexit. A multicoloured zebra arrived in Spark Atrium three days ago. Expert hope to return it to its natural habitat. Chloe has this report. Hello, my name is Chloe Iverson. Today at Solent News, I'm going to be telling you about the multicoloured zebra which appeared in the Spark Atrium. Soon we are going to go over to Latash Pace, who is an expert in zoology, and she's going to tell us all about this multicoloured zebra and its natural habitat. Over to Latash Pace. What we do know about this zebra is that it is from Umpaland. We are worried that if it stays here, it's going to become extinct, which will cause trouble for all of its zebra friends back in Impaland. We need to get it back there as safely as possible. We need, so we need as much help as we can. What we, the only thing we do know about the zebra to keep its diet up before going home is that it eats cocoa beans, green jelly beans, and anything candy related. Thank you, Latasha Face, for such a rare insight into such a rare species. We are hoping this multicoloured zebra gets back to its natural habitat in Lumpaland. We are hoping it gets back safely. Back to you in the studio. This was Chloe Ibbotson reporting from the Spark Atrium in Southampton. Well, thank you for that, Chloe. Can't believe that zebra. I wonder if they ever get it caught. Just amazing look at the candy. Anyway. Aggressive seagulls in the park are creating public nuisance, spreading litter and stealing food. Jason has his report. I'm Jason Prescott here at Palmerston Park in Southampton reporting for Senate News. We've had reports of aggressive seagulls in the area causing nuisance and stealing food. I'm here with animal expert Daniel Regnard to help explain more. Well, with regard to the current behaviour, there's no confirmed explanation as to why these seagulls have been behaving the way they are. However, top animal experts believe the recent introduction of a new chemical in certain food products has led to a result in the seagulls becoming more aggressive. Is there anything you're doing to stop this? I'm currently not aware of any plans involved about stopping the seagulls. However, I believe that with the current increase in the seagulls you see around us, I believe that there will be measures taken to stop this aggressive behaviour. What that is, however, I am not certain yet. Okay, thank you, Daniel Regnard. I've been Jason Prescott, reporting for Solent News. Back to you in the studio. Interesting stuff from Jason there. I can't believe this food's making them so aggressive. I wonder if they get any measurements into it for it. Anyway, back in Spark Artatorium, the world's largest barbecue has arrived to greet acclaim. But can it really cook? Over to Jade, who has more. Today we're at Solent University where they have just received the world's largest barbecue, but can it really cook? I'm here with the director of DEP, barbecue expert Brad. So what do you think of the world's largest barbecue? Um, well, I, I don't think it's really a barbecue. Um, I, I, I could try if you wanted me to. Are you some sort of like idiot or something? There you have it. The massive barbecue isn't real. What, what's even happening? Why am I here? real? Are you real? Back to you in the studio. Well that does sound yummy Jade. I wonder if that barbecue ever did exist. Never anyway, know. and now over to the weather with Greg. Thanks Courtney. Now if you look out your weather it may appear to be wet, windy and wild. 
but as our weather map here suggests, we are experiencing unseasonably warm temperatures for November. It's 17 degrees in the capital, and we're even reaching double digits in the Outer Hebrides. As our warm front moves in from the Atlantic, it will remain mild and dry for the time being. So go and enjoy that weather. That's all from me, back to the studio. Thanks, Greg. That's all from us here at Solent News. From us, have a very good evening.